honestly, no. It was kind of something that I always dreamed about. Gaming was something that was like probably the most consistent thing uh, about my life. Um, whether I was on a console, on some handheld stuff, on a phone, uh, eventually on a computer. Uh, just something that I've like always had like a deep rooted passion for. I've been playing forever all types of games. Uh, and then really right before kind of like COVID started, I started to take it like a little more serious with Counter-Strike. And then um, when Valorant came out, it was kind of just like perfect timing for me to just like jump into a fresh slate. And, uh, you know, I'm really happy and lucky to be here today. You know, I'm not even going to say that. I do mean to come across um, having an ego when I do say this. I think it's kind of challenging to be the best team in the qualifier um, next to probably the YFP gaming team. I've really never been in this position before. Um, personally, I've always felt like an underdog in terms of free agent teams, even like signed teams that I've played on. I, I never really thought that it was like this like clear road ahead where, you know, we are the people, we are the big bad wolf, w w whatever you want to call it. Um, a lot of people have footage on us. A lot of people have watched us play. We've been playing together for a while. And right now we are the only salaried team going into the Challengers qualifier. Um, so the only real challenging thing is uh, just really keeping everybody on the same page and making sure that we all trust each other and we're confident in each other. And as long as we do that, it's going to be a breeze. Um, I try to lead practice <coughs> like a tournament every single day. That may sound a little over the like a, a little crazier maybe a little unrealistic but at the end of the day um, we're really focused on the development of treating practice like the tournament practicing like we play uh, we don't necessarily goof off we don't really like waste time um, i'm like a big advocate of that where i personally don't think i've ever wasted anybody's time in practice unless you you know decide to fuck around or troll first then i'll really you know show you uh, what wasting time looks like but uh, we've been putting a lot of hours in, um, whether it's inside the server, scrims itself, uh, these practice tournaments that we've been playing, um, ranked, playing together, etc. And with that consistency that we've shown, uh, showing up every day, you know, trying to treat every day almost like it's the same, and just understanding that one foot in front of another is really important. Uh, I think we're, again, like in a really good position for that. Uh, the last Chargers qualifier I played in, I wasn't even supposed to have a team. I just got messaged by a friend to play, and we ended up going pretty far into it with uh, not a lot invested into it. And I honestly didn't really understand the severity of it. I didn't really understand what the offseason was going to be or look like. I didn't realize how many people or teams and orgs were going to end up leaving. So I'm very lucky to be a part of a very you know incredible org with a lot of great people in it. But I think that I don't really feel too different about this. I'm not someone who's like too like nervous or, or anxious about this stuff. I'm actually kind of dying to play right now. I, I, I just feel like I've just been not necessarily going through the motions, but there's been a lot going on like with our team ever since I joined. I joined this team. It was very not broken, but it was just in a position where there's just like a lot of like moving pieces and it was like uh, we weren't really together. And there's been a lot of trial. There's been a lot of error. There's been a lot of uh, time invested, and I, I, I really don't feel that this is like too big of a different tournament. I'm just, I'm just ready to play. Uh, communication is like a benchmark, a standard that I have for everyone here. I have a very long list of protocols, a very long list of keywords uh, that everyone has memorized here and that we all use round in and round out. Uh, again, being on the same page is really important. Trying to be calm, cool, and collected is really important when you're communicating and not really rash and hectic and freaking out, uh, really showing like a lot of emotion in the way that you're speaking. It can cause people to react, it can cause people to have misjudgment, etc. So uh, another thing that we've been practicing. Um, at the end of the day, we're here for a reason. I think it's vital to understand that as a competitor, you're going to fall you have to get back up. And there's gonna be a lot of times where maybe you fall, you know, you twist your ankle, you know, it really hurts, you have to take a seat for a second and your boys will be there to, you know, help pick you up and, you know, continue to move forward. So our kind of like sense of brotherhood that we have on this team, uh, I feel like that we're all really close. We know each other, you know, really well. And I think that a huge part that played into that was these off season lands that we traveled to, man. Making content, staying together in the same like Airbnb house, whatever it was. 
um, working together. We've never really lost on this team. We've only won and we have learned. I haven't wasted time just being upset over losses. Every time that I've ever lost on this team, we've made a great adjustment, uh, a comp change, uh, a good change for the team as a whole going forward, etc. And I think that we're in a prime position to, again, like take this qualifier by storm and uh, just really walk in there. I'm not scared of anybody. I guess finishing that question, in terms of inside the qualifier itself, looping back to that point that I started off where it's really just important to trust yourself and trust each other. The moment that I think that teams start overcompensating or trying to like be the hero per se is the moment where they've already lost. You gotta be able to trust your boys, you gotta be able to trust those bomb site holds, you gotta be able to trust people to do their job because that's what we've all been prepping for. So I think everybody's on the same page uh, with that. And again, it's gonna be a really clean transition going into a match here. I'm gonna kind of save that for when we qualify and I do our post game interview. The only people I'd like to shout out right now are the ones who didn't believe in me. Uh, the people who shit talk me, my teammates, my org, whatever you decide to do. You are a part of the reason why I get up every day and continue to do this. It's this burning passion that I have inside where I, I, don't, even, I don't even know if I'm fully doing this for the people who support me anymore. It's more of like a, it's a, it's like a nice mix where I've included you guys too. Um, all the scumbags of like, you know, this community who just shit talk and cry on Twitter, social media, or in game, waste my time, waste my energy. I'm really excited to qualify this year, rub it in your face, and then sit there on a successful challengers team for the rest of the season it's to where you see me everywhere. You see me on Twitter, you might even see me in the game, you see me on Twitch, you see me on YouTube, you see me on TikTok, you can't get enough of me. So just know I'm not going anywhere. So you can get on the train now and try to act like you've been here, or you can just get the fuck out of my way. Because again, you know nobody's gonna stop me and I'm never gonna stop moving forward. I don't know if I have advice, but what I basically did was you know, kind of just grind ranked, you know, trying to make a name for yourself for the most part, uh, you know, ranked streaming, you know, kind of build the connections that you kind of need, make a team, it doesn't have to be a good team, just kind of spam like these little tournaments. You know, I guess you could say a couple people introduced me, um, my brother mainly, I have an older brother who was like super into games, um, I used to just kind of... When I was younger, just kind of sit around and watch him play whatever he was playing, you know. Xbox 360, you know, PlayStation 3, that was kind of like the times that I started playing, like, you know, the, the usual games, Call of Duty, you know, Halo, all that kind of stuff. I feel like there's obviously some sort of, like, pressure, but at the same time, there isn't really any pressure. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like a weird situation for me. little bit of everything to be honest you know keeping my mechanics sharp improving my communication um, bringing in stuff that we can do keeping practice like really structured and all that stuff uh, as well as vodder being myself and other teams that have been playing you know especially because I'm on a new role just kind of figuring out the do's and the don'ts of you know the flex role all that kind of stuff I personally love to uh, watch my own VODs back. Um, we have a good analyst who kind of takes track of things like first deaths or certain like rounds where we shouldn't have lost, like stuff like that. I like to go and watch like specific rounds that like he has written down or I've, I've marked myself. Um, just trying to watch it back, you know, see what I could have done, you know, see what could have been better. If it, if it worked, like, you know, making mental note of that. Shout out Core, shout out all my teammates, shout out, you know, everyone that's, you know, been helping us and all that. Uh, shout out the scrim partners, shout out, shout out, you know, shout out everyone. Shout out Beige Saiyan, man. That man Roger, man. My girlfriend's always been my number one supporter. She always supports me. She's watching all the matches. Uh, she's come to all the lands that we've been to with Core Gaming. So I'm super grateful for that. 
And it's the same scenario with my parents and my family. They're always being supportive uh, with my career choice. And um, my parents are always trying to watch the matches. My brother's trying to watch the matches. Um, so they're always super supportive. I don't take that for granted. I don't think I have anything too specific on this, but I think just playing sports and I, I ran cross country in high school, um, I think they taught me a lot of important life lessons that I still use to this day. Um, and they made me a huge competitor, which helps me a lot when I'm playing Valorant. Um, so yeah, I, I think playing sports in high school. The new YFP team is pretty solid. Um, I think they're pretty well-rounded. They have a bunch of experienced players from like Challengers last season. Um, so I think they have the edge on some other teams. Um, I think some other good teams are like coming out of the woodworks right now. Some other like pug teams that are starting to play together. They're pretty solid. Um, some other experienced players as well, but I don't think there's anything like any other teams that are like too, too crazy. I think balance is key. So not neglecting eating, sleeping, physical activity, important stuff like that. Um, I think it's super important to play the game a ton and grind, um, but at the same time, it's also super important to like get that rest, eat that extra food and whatnot. Um, just getting all the important stuff in. So I'd say balance. Lastly, I want to give a special shout out to everyone at Core Gaming and all they do for me. Shout out my parents, my brother Ryan, my girlfriend Megan, and everyone at the NCA house, T-Dog, Icy, Bior, Zinc. Special shout out to all of them. If I wasn't gaming, I would definitely be trying to spend more time outside of the house. You know, and I've always wanted to start my own business too, so that's probably what I'd be doing if I wasn't gaming. Uh, managing my schedule is a little hard. You know, being on the East Coast, I have to be up super early in order to get anything done. Uh, we're usually practicing until about 10 p.m., so I have to be up at like 8 or 9 a.m. to get everything I need to get done in the morning. For work-life balance, I would say that I don't have a good work-life balance. You know, as gaming takes up majority of my time and the schedule being on the East Coast takes up my whole day, except for just my mornings, pretty much. I would say the mental aspect of the game is super important. You know, staying focused and keeping a clear mind to make good decisions, you know, as well as not letting your emotions take over. Uh, keeping calm in high pressure situations is also very important. Um, I tend to stay focused and composed by controlling my breathing, you know, taking deep breaths when needed. I also find eating properly before a tournament helps, as well as drinking like lots of water helps me maintain my focus. I'd say a few key factors that differentiate successful teams has to be the dedication, uh, how determined the players are to improve as a team as well as individuals. I think a big thing I've noticed on teams that play well is the environment and the atmosphere of the team. You know, like high energy, good vibes. I think that's very important to have. I think a crucial aspect for a successful cohesive team has to be having that good energy, good vibes on the team, you know, no toxicity, um, holding each other accountable, you know, improving and fixing your mistakes. I think that's important to have a successful cohesive team. I think the teams that I'm looking forward to playing are mainly YFP and just some other pug teams with players that I played on and like with teams in the past or just like I played against that I have a rivalry, rivalry against. Waking up maybe like an hour or two before like, you know, practice and, you know, at least getting some water and hydrated, you know, washing my face a little bit and then just kind of taking the day slow at a time, you know, to get a one day, game at a time. In my personal opinion, I feel like ISO didn't really affect the meta in terms of like competitive play. I'm not seeing like a lot of ISO being held right now in like any tournaments or anything. And maybe that's because there's not a lot been shown, but I feel like it won't heavily affect the meta. I feel like he's more of just kind of like a fun ranked agent in my opinion, but I can see maybe in the future, some teams coming up with some cool comps with them. Personally, I don't think I'll see a lot of duelists playing ISO. I feel like there'd be a limited amount. I just feel like the fact that like I said in the last question that ISO is kind of like a more of a ranked like puggy fun agent. And I just don't feel like you can get an insane amount of value out of his kit. He's just kind of more like a arena in a way, just kind of like a 1v1 agent. Just kind of like, you know, you pug it out. 
Uh, I'm not a type of player to normally change my settings or my like you know keyboard senses or binds, but I guess I recently just switched back to native from 1280 by 1024, uh, and I guess it just helps me like. I know I feel like my aim is a little more smoother. I get to, you know, see more clear of a vision. I think it's kind of just personal preference. But yeah, I switched from uh, stretch to native. So I think that's the only change I've recently made so far. Uh, I'd personally give a shout out to like my family. You know, they're constantly supporting me as well as my girlfriend. Uh, I feel like they think that my job is unique and it's something that's like special because not a lot of people can say that they can play a game professionally. And, you know, it's like kind of a thing where a lot of people say like the top 1% makes it. So I feel like they think that it's just something cool and they can like kind of, I would say like kind of brag about it in a way just cause you know, like it's unique. And uh, they just, I want to thank the, my family and my girlfriend, uh, Hannah aka Yukio for constantly supporting me uh, throughout like, you know, just practicing like long hours of days, you know, like my family coming in giving me food when I'm playing cause I can't always, you know, go out and get that. So, you know, I just appreciate it. And my girlfriend always, like I said, constantly supporting me and making sure I'm mentally ready for my game. And yeah, that's uh, Zeldris, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and see y'all later.